Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, June 25th. I'm Jim Weatherup, Chairman of the Oswego County Legislature. Joining me today is Diane Oldenburg, Senior Public Health Educator for the Oswego County Health Department. Yesterday, Governor Cuomo announced that our region is on track for Phase 4 reopening starting tomorrow. The Governor has said that some, but not all, of the Phase 4 activities will be allowed to resume. I want to assure you that the Regional Control Room team continues to advocate for businesses and our people, and we will continue to do that. But ultimately, it is New York State's decision, not ours, on when all businesses and activities can reopen. We had hoped that movie theaters, bowling alleys, gyms, and events like outdoor concerts would be allowed to resume tomorrow, but these types of activities are still considered too much of a risk for spreading COVID-19. Again, the guidance from New York State is changing daily. Activities are still being phased in. I assure you that the leaders of the Central New York Regional Counties are voicing your concerns and doing all we can to safely reopen our communities. The good news is that more people will be able to participate in indoor worship service up to 33% of the facility's capacity starting tomorrow. Group gatherings of up to 50 people will be allowed up from 25. Indoor and outdoor venues that have low risk activities such as museums and nature parks can also reopen at limited capacity. New guidelines were also issued for colleges and additional low risk indoor and outdoor activities so we are making progress. There are several new pages of guidance on the state website. Everyone who is operating a business or attraction needs to read the guidance, develop a safety plan, and attest that they can accept the guidelines before they can reopen. Our county health department team continues to work on testing, patient contact tracing, and tracking COVID cases in the county. And Diane will now give us an update on today's report. Diane? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I would like to report on the Champlain Valley Specialties Investigation. A team of New York State Department of Health nurses joined Oswego County Health Department nurses uh, and tested all 87 Champlain Valley Specialty employees that live in Oswego County. As of June 25th, 2020, the County Health Department has received all uh, test results. 37 employees who are Oswego County residents were lab confirmed positive for COVID-19. The Oswego County Health Department's preventive services team reached out to all positive individuals to identify their close contacts. The investigation indicated further need for testing to protect the Oswego County community. With the State Department of Health and the support of many community agencies, Several testing sessions were deployed in the county to expand testing since June 16th. The expanded testing did find additional positive residents in the community who appear to be linked to the positive cases already found. These newly found positives and their close contacts were quickly notified and isolated or quarantined if it was warranted. Under the State Department of Health's direction, those who should be isolated and quarantined were served with isolation or quarantine papers uh, orders swiftly. The Oswego County Health Department continues to monitor and issue updates on COVID-19 disease activity throughout the county. This report shows that the virus remains in our community and everyone should continue to practice frequent hand washing, face masking, and social distancing. For today's reports, we have total tests uh, completed at 14,740. We have a total of 191 positive cases. 61 of those cases are currently active. We have 126 residents that have recovered from COVID-19, and we have four deaths related to COVID-19. Negative test results that have been returned is 14,378, and we currently have 162 residents under mandatory isolation or quarantine. For antibody testing, uh, to date we have received 50 positive antibody tests uh, back and 2,182 negative test results um, back. That's a percentage of about 2.2% positive. Thanks. Thank you, Diane. 
I have a few reminders on upcoming events. The Camp Hollis Day Camp program starts this Monday, June 29th for kids age 6 to 14. This program allows kids to participate in the traditional summer camp activities like swimming, hiking, rope course, and includes lunch and snacks. There are still openings for weekly sessions. Call the Youth Bureau at 315-349-3451 for more information. As I mentioned on Tuesday, this weekend, June 27th and 28th, is a free fishing weekend in New York State. You don't need to have a fishing license. Get out on the water if you can, keep supporting our local businesses, and keep following the state guidelines to stay at least six feet apart from others in public and wear a mask when you can't social distance. County offices will be closed next Friday for the 4th of July holiday. The solid waste transfer stations will be closed next Friday and Saturday, July 3rd and 4th. The County Health Department's COVID-19 hotline number, 315-349-3330, is open Monday through Friday. Your cooperation is making a difference as we move forward to safely reopen all of Oswego County and the Central New York region. Thank you for your support.